Your objective is to assassinate assigned targets. Avoid other Templars. What's up guys, I'm the Aussie Gamer, bringing you yet another commentary for Assassin's Creed Brotherhood's online multiplayer. Again, another wanted mode. Um, I received a lot of positive um, comments and messages from you guys regarding my Assassin's Creed Brotherhood multiplayer gameplay. So I thought, you know, why not do another one and start, and indeed make it into a series. One thing I want to stress though is that I know that a lot of you are probably waiting for my review for this game and I have been talking a lot about the positives and somewhat negatives of the online experience. Do rest assured, this will be my last commentary before before that, before I do my review. So after this commentary, it'll be strictly review time. I'll write a script, I'll, I'll recite the scripts, I'll get some adequate gameplay footage and I'll put this fucker review together. That kill there was crap. I had my target sitting on the bench. I was about to get him and that fucking soldier, yet again, you know, the fucking, my biggest nightmare, leaps from the fucking building above me and kills me. A nice kill all the same and I'd be happy if I got it, but because it wasn't me that got it and I was the one that died, it's fucking bullshit. And that's generally how this game works. So this guy here is not being obvious or anything, just standing on the roof. And he got a nice lethal dose of death to the neck. Now, as you can see, if you look at the top, uh, top left-hand corner, I actually have zero pursuers at the moment. So this is a great time to run. Run as fast as you can before your little compass illuminates, letting you know you're in your, in your target's area. Because no one's going to care if you're running, because no one's actually been assigned to kill you. So that's really helpful. So that's a good tip for anyone that's playing this game. If you don't have any pursuers... Fucking run. Run as fast as you can and for as far as you can because at the end of the day, no one fucking cares. And this is a great little kill here. Fucking revenge. Take that, you motherfucker. Death from above. A nice, lethal, lethal dose of death. That's really bad. Dose of death to that fucking soldier's neck. So take that, you dick. And now I finally have a pursuer onto me. So now I've got to be careful about my movements and my actions because it will make me stand out. And this bitch just runs right into me, and again, another lethal dose of death into her neck. I actually managed to say it right this time. So something I wanted to talk about in this game was... One of my favourite features of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood is that it doesn't reward just kills. It rewards players with points for just simply being discreet. So, you may go through a match where you get little to zero kills, and you're managing to escape all of your pursuers... And because you are managing to escape all of those pursuers, you're getting points for it. Now, this bit's kind of fucked. This guy, he kind of warps to the other side of the haystack and gets away. So, I'm assuming that's kind of like a connection issue right there. And that really pissed me off because... And now, of course, I've got my fucking pursuer onto me. But connection issues like that, it does happen. And because this game's all about timing and strategizing and a split second could cause death, a connection issue like that really doesn't have the right to be in the game, so that's something, a bug that the, the developers of, of the game might want to iron out in future patch releases and in future updates. Um, I was actually playing a game later on, or sorry, earlier on this evening, and I was actually doing really, really well, and without warning, um, the servers just crashed, and I'm not sure whether that was just my Xbox Live connection, um, or whether it was actually the game's servers, um, because I was in the middle of a game, I was actually doing quite well, and for without without warning, everything just froze up, and I got kicked out. And it said Ubisoft servers are currently unavailable, and I was un I was actually unable to reconnect. So I think it was actually Ubisoft's problem, and that's something else they might want to resolve pretty soon, actually. So yes, yeah, so, but going back to what I was saying is I like how the game awards points for being stealthy and not necessarily only kills. So of course, in Call of Duty, they award you for kills primarily, and of course, assists in kills but not for staying alive for as long as possible. So in this game, I don't get very many kills, but I actually escape from quite a few enemies. My only complaint here, and this, this again is not necessarily a broken game mechanic, it's just the way the game's designed, and it's not necessarily broken or a bad thing, it's just, again, strategy. Whenever I break into, a, I guess, an escape scene where I have to run away from my attacker, I usually, I'm usually in roughly the same area as my target, and because I start running and sprinting away, I blow my cover to my target, and then they start running, so I lose them as well as lose my the person chasing me, which is all fine, but I guess it's a win-loss situation because, you know, I'm unable to kind of recover from that and get the kill. This bit is pretty funny. See, my, there's my pursuer there running up the stairs with the red diamond above her head. Now, she's like, where the fuck is this guy? And I get away, and then I pop out just in time to say, sucked in, you stupid bitch. I was in the hay bale the whole time, you motherfucker. And then, of course, 
I get killed. So my cockiness and arrogance got me killed. I shouldn't have bloody lingered around just to kind of say, here I was, you missed out. Better luck next time because it did end up with me with me dying. Something I want to talk about later on into my Assassin's Creed Brotherhood online experience, probably post-review, would be the perk system. I haven't had enough hours, I haven't plugged enough hours into this game to really comment on it much. I did kind of touch on it in my last commentary, but not so much in, not so much since, because I haven't progressed very far through the leveling system, and of course, like in Call of Duty, or actually, sorry, in past Call of Duties, with the exception of Black Ops, all of your perks are actually unlocked as you progress through the leveling system. So right now, I only have one perk slot available, which is the left bumper perk, or if you're playing on PlayStation 3 L2, and that will actually change my disguise. So if I'm being chased by somebody and I get out of their view for a split second, what I can actually do is I can press that left bumper and I can change my character model. So I will not appear as a doctor. I might appear as, I don't know, a bearded man or a chick or a, or, or a priest or something else, not necessarily a doctor. And that I found is, is pretty cool um, because of the fact that you know, they'll, it will confuse them, they won't see me, and as long as they don't see me change my character model, they won't know who the fuck I am. That bit was pretty stupid, because I was running away from my attacker, I ran straight into my target, bumped into him on the rooftop, and just kept running. I was like, fuck that, I'm not sticking around, I'm hiding. So I thought that was quite funny at the time, and I was kind of thinking, ah, because I wouldn't have cared if I got killed at that point, it was more or less, you know, it would have been worth it would have been worth the fun. And here we go. Some guy's running directly towards me. I'm going to sprint away. And this is where my disguise kind of comes into play. Around the corner and instantly change disguise into this bearded, gimly looking like dude. And I turn the corner again. And sure enough, there's my target sitting there at the at the marketplace. At least I think it might be. Sorry, there's my pursuer. At least I think it might be my, might be my pursuer. I don't think it was because what you actually have the option to do is stun them by pressing the B button. And you can actually clap them over the head or punch them or something. And that'll instantly break their their target onto you so that's pretty cool now i forgot what i was talking about because i've digressed oh yeah the perk system so as i get further into assassin's creed brotherhood i will certainly attempt to do more in terms of um talking further into the perk system and explaining it a bit more deeply in my review i'll be touching on the online multiplayer um i have pretty much covered a, a, quite a lot of it now in my last or in these two commentaries which is pretty cool however this is bullshit how the hell did you know i was there it's fucking gay bullshit but i have covered a lot of the online multiplayer so far in these two commentaries so in my review you might find it's a little bit dry for for i guess thorough critique because of the fact that i have already talked about it so but that, but my review will be focusing heavily on the single player component, which I guess is quite easy to sum it up. One word, epic. It was fantastic. I loved every second of it. Never got bored. But of course, I'll save the remainder of, or the bulk of my comments for the full review. So with less than one minute to go, I've actually covered everything I wanted to talk about in this commentary, and I haven't talked too much shit like I did in the first one. I know, or I actually have a friend of mine um, that actually said to me in person, dude, you talked a lot of shit in that commentary. And after watching it a couple of times, I'm thinking to myself, yeah, I did talk a lot of shit in that commentary, and I'm surprised a lot of you didn't actually pick me up and say, dude, you're a fuckhead. Why are you talking so much crap? So I do appreciate you guys for being tolerant in that regard. Now, because there's less than 10 seconds to go, I'm desperate to get a kill and just run through this crowd and plug this girl in the neck. I had to do it. I wanted some more points and I wanted some kills, and I managed to get away from my pursuer at the time as well. So not a bad ending to a game. I did come third, so not quite as good as first, but hey. So my next video will, of course, be my full review for Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, so look forward to that one, guys. Of course, if you haven't already, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.